Hi, and welcome again. Today we are going to talk about ASP.NET Core uh, Payment Gateway. So today we choose uh, World Pay uh, Payments. So we'll try to integrate it with our uh, project. I will show you step by step how to do it. Uh, why we choose World Pay? World Pay is very famous uh, payment gateway. They support many cards, as you see, and even they support integration with PayPal with. Uh, I think too they support the Apple Pay, they support many payments gateway too. So uh, uh, it's easy to integrate with ASP. Uh, I will show you step by step how well to do it. Uh, this is the dashboard, it's easy and simple to manage it. Uh, they will give you, uh, I'll show you how they to uh, they give you the, the keys, the client keys and the publish key, same how we did it in the Stripe. Uh, so if you press on document, they will send you to this uh, page. This for the developers. Uh, as you see here, you can supported by many languages. We'll choose .NET. So if you follow this one, it, you, it will be fine how to integrate it. So I'll try to show you how to do it with uh, ASP .NET Core. So uh, let's talk about uh, these things a, f uh, a few minutes. Uh, they have their own. You can build your own forum. Uh, so you can put your uh, input and you call them the names they want and after that you, can, you link it with your uh, JavaScript and they have their, the forum they provide you, the template forum I I like to uh, to use this one because it's better and it's not a bad one but, but it's back to you if, if you need to customize it you can use the your own forum so uh, I will try to do this one step by step with you this the look how it will be with us uh, so it's very easy and simple uh, let's start first thing to do uh, create a new project call it world world pay uh, test uh, I will choose .NET 2.2 still today it's the newest one Okay, uh, we need no need any authentication or anything. Just a simple app, just to show you how to integrate it. So uh, the first step is, I will try to do it in a professional way, as much as we can. Uh, not only just copy and paste in our code. We show our keys to anyone now. Uh, what what they are uh, showing us in the documentation? They said to us. Uh, okay, let's copy this the first thing, the forum they provide us. Uh, we'll put it in the... Let's use the home, same. I'm gonna delete these things. Past your forum here. So what they are saying is simple forum. Uh, it will be when the action complete, we'll go to the complete uh, method. They call the forum payment forum with post so all the items will be showing here inside this this uh, div this will be here inside of the card number with the expiration date and everything when you press the submit it will execute method this method uh, from world pay so what's, let's see what's that method the, the method they provide us this here just copy it I'll put in the button here it's very simple. They provide us the JavaScript, and after that, you need to write your uh, client key. Uh, here, they will create after the successful succeed with this uh, pay, payment or the or the ticket succeed. They will provide you token. This token will be hidden in the forum. So uh, the second step we need is to do. Will create an. Uh, I will not put the key straight away. I will not copy it from there. Just pass it here straight away. Let's do it more professional way. So we'll add our keys in the app string. So let me just just copy it from my old copy. I'll pass it here. What I have done here. If you watch my last video about Stripe, you you 
figure how I did it exactly same way so I put the my JSON I call it 12 pay with two keys my uh, service key and the client key so here how I get this key two keys you need to register with them you will uh, how to register with them they have if you go to log in or sign out you'll see many many things so just write here online warpay.com that's it you will uh, they will forward you to the sign up page so how to get that keys you go to settings uh, from settings go to keys the same for me it's uh, test key I don't care about them uh, uh, just the uh, important point uh, Workpay they are too strict to make your account to activate to live it, they are not easy people to 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 give you an active account they need many many things not same stripe straight away they activate for you uh, so let's continue on with this one we need to copy our service key and the client key and put them in our json file let's close this one second things we need to create a class to handle that data or to fetch that, that data from uh, from my json file let's call it world pay settings so what i need to put in this uh, two files uh, this uh, class just i need to write same what i have done there in my uh, in my json just i need to write my uh, service key and my client key we'll see how why we need these things so uh uh, the second step is we need to, to bind them in our startup how to how to bind them it's simple so when you run the application always we we catch in hand our hand the the two keys so we need to write uh, service that configuration configure sorry and the configure will write here a uh, world pay the class i have writ written on the in my mod uh, modules there so just call it okay after that I need to write here I said uh, again configuration dot get section which section I need from the app setting I need this one so they will call me these two keys it will be called when I run my application that's it in the startup i don't need anything more in the startup file close it i'm gonna close this one i don't need it so here now in my uh, index page where i uh, already written this code written here so what i need to do here i need to call my uh, i need to call my uh, client key how to call it from my app setting json so here just we need to uh, let's see how to uh, inject it I will just write it for you here. Uh, so first things, what we need here, let's say add. We say using I. Oh sorry, Microsoft. Uh, let's say that extensions dot options dot options. Okay. And the second things I need to inject i option so the class i needed uh, where i already uh, write my, uh, my uh, stuff there and the it will be on the wall pay dot model dot wall pay setting i will call it world pay that's okay so I, now here, let's say we done here hundred percent in this one. So how to call it now here? Let's say under the client key. Let's say add world pay dot value dot. I need my client key. Uh, the two quotations are important here. If without them, it will not work. So that's it. Now if I run it, I can see in my home page the world pay forum just let's run it and see how it will be there
so uh, showing us there is a problem let's check it what's the problem going to ah oh, so it's running just as a bit of a bit internet slow so that's the forum showing us from uh, or the the template they're providing us as i told you you can customize it you can implement different one but this one i i, I think it's uh, it's nice not not bad so uh, our next video we'll try to do the bag and maybe modify this one and how to pass the token we can write yeah, how to pass the token we can we can pass uh, emails pass more data so i'll see you in the second video